Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I don't feel like doing my makeup because I have been sick the last two days, and this morning I wasn't feeling so good, and I don't know, I'm just like in the mood to film, and I haven't filmed in a while, and I'm sorry about that, but I was really sick when I got home from work on Thursday, and then Friday I was terribly sick all day, I had a fever, it was just not a good time, I was like getting sick, like throwing up and stuff. TMI, I know, I'm sorry, but I'm just telling you why I've been kind of MIA. And then today, just, I don't know, I've, I've been feeling like feverish again and a little warm, but like decently good. So I want to film, so I'm sorry if it's not like the best and the most me type of filming, but I'm going to try my best. I did paint, you guys can tell the color of the wall is different. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I did post some before and afters on Instagram, so you guys can check me out there. I can leave my links right here and down below in the description bar, which they always are. But yeah, I'm sitting a little bit differently at my table because I got this new plant as well. And I got this one too. Can you guys see the elephant back here? I love elephants. If you guys know me, I love elephants. Anyway, so let's get into this. I'm going to do the sample empties first as per usual, and then I'm going to do my regular empties and then go from there. So I'm not going to show you progress on the other sample empties or the other samples that I'm working on right now because I'm doing my April like total empties. So I don't want to make this video too long, but I mean, I can go through them really quickly at the end if you guys are interested, but we'll see. I don't know how much energy I'm going to have for that, but we'll see. So the first empty I have is from Bon Vivient, and it's That Day Mask Pack. It's the Brightening Care Pack, and it's like the pink one. I really liked this one. It does have a lot of serum, like probably three face masks worth of serum down here. But I get nervous to put too much serum on my face because when I did that one time, it did break my skin out, and I did not like that at all. So... I would repurchase this one. I don't feel like it really brightened my skin too much, but it did feel nice on the skin. My skin was extremely soft afterwards and the day after, because I always do face masks at night. So I did really enjoy this. I liked it a lot and I would definitely repurchase this. Maybe not for a full price. I would probably purchase it for, you know, if it was discounted somewhere, if it was in a pack of masks or whatever, but I did really enjoy it. So I don't like highly recommend it or anything. I think it was a pretty standard face mask, but I did enjoy it. Then I have the Way Hair Care Treatment Mask. I did have this in an empties before and I do really like it. Weirdly enough, the first time I had this in an empties, I had long hair. And I only got one treatment mask out of that one single or that one single container that was the exact same size as this one. This container I got about five uses out of, which is crazy to me because my hair, I mean, it is significantly short, but shorter, but it's not any thinner. Like my hair is still exceptionally thick. So I'm not really sure how there was so much more product in this one and there wasn't in the last one. Either way, nonetheless, I did really enjoy this product. It did make my hair very soft, but I will say that after using this, typically when I do a typical shower, shampoo, and conditioner, I can go about three days without having to wash my hair because my hair doesn't get super greasy very quickly. But with this, when I did use it, I could only go about two days. So that was a little annoying to me, but it did put a lot of extra hydration and moisture into my hair. So I did really like this. Um, would I repurchase it? Probably not at full price, same thing, but if I got another sample of it, I would be very happy to use it. This was my very last sample of it. I do have other treatment like hair masks that I want to use, but I did really enjoy this one. And I mean, I don't know, maybe one day I'll repurchase it, but not right now. Then I finally finished the Clean and Clear Deep Action Cream Cleanser. I actually finished this two days after I filmed my other update. So this only had two uses left in it when I filmed and I squeezed it down to literally nothing. I actually hurt my fingers trying to squeeze all the product out of here. But I did really, really like this and I used this in conjunction with the Tatcha, um, cleansing cream oil, cleansing, what is it, Com Pure Camilla cleansing oil, that's what it is. 
my goodness. And I did really like those two together. They almost like fed into each other really, really well. Like the Tatcha opened up my pores. This one really sunk in and cleaned them out. I always felt super, super clean. You know that like minty feeling almost that you get on your face where you can like feel your face breathing? That's exactly how this felt. But I noticed when I used less product, when I used just like a little bit less and did it on my face, I didn't feel as clean. So with this type of product, I would definitely recommend using more product and really getting a good lather on the skin. It doesn't like foam up or anything, but getting a good lather with this one definitely helped and made it feel so much better. Because this is such an inexpensive product, I would be fine with using more product because I mean, they give you such a big size for such a small amount. So I really did like this and I would definitely repurchase in the future if I was looking for a cream cleanser. And right now I only have um, physical exfoliants. So I need to put another cream cleanser in my <laughs> shower because having physical exfoliants only is really tearing up my skin. Anyways. So I would, I would repurchase that one for sure. Then the very last sample empty I have, I know I only have four. How pathetic is that, right? I've been having a hard time emptying up samples right now. But my very last sample empty is the Prada Candy um, Eau de Perfume. This is the little sample spray here. I can't get the rest of this out here. And I even tried to like take off the lid and like dab it on. Oh, I just tossed it. I t what I've been doing is taking off the lid and like dabbing it on my skin because then I can actually get the rest of it out. And I, I don't know, I like this. It did not have any staying power whatsoever. So when I, I noticed that when it was gone off my skin, it was like literally gone. Like there was no more spray left, not spray, but like no more smell left at all which was crazy to me because why is it not I, I don't understand I guess like there was no staying power at all like it, it just wouldn't stand so that wasn't very fun I just got perfume in my eyeball and I had to rinse my eyes out which is why I'm really glad that I didn't <laughs> put makeup on today. My brain was ahead of myself. And I'm gonna go wash my eyes out is this one. I'm gonna go wash my eyes out again after I'm done filming this. But now I'm gonna associate this smell with getting in my eye, which really makes me mad. But I really, I like the smell, but I wouldn't repurchase and it didn't stay on my skin at all. Anyway, so those are all of my sample empties and now I'm gonna show you my big box of empties. Here we go. Okay, so for my big box of empties, I'm gonna show you all of the empties that you haven't seen yet and then all the sample empties that you guys have already seen in my sample project pan. So the first one I have is the Marc Anthony Nourishing Argan Oil of Morocco, sulfate-free shampoo, repairs, strengthens, and revives shine, protects color, keratin, yeah. Um, this shampoo actually I really liked. The conditioner, I've already showed you guys, I think in my previous empties was my conditioner of this one. I didn't like the conditioner as much. The shampoo, I really, really liked. It had a very nice cleansing feel on my scalp, especially because I tend to go to the same shampoos and conditioners. So then changing it up to this one, really, really felt like it cleaned all the extra gunk, the extra buildup from the shampoo and conditioner off of my scalp, which I really, really liked. It did lather up really nicely. You did not need a lot of product, which is why I used up the conditioner before the shampoo, which happens more times than not anyways. But yeah, I was really happy to keep using this in my shower and I just paired it with other um, conditioners like the treatment mask and stuff like that. And I really did enjoy this. I looked for it online on Ulta's website, but it wasn't the same exact one for sale. Um, I wouldn't be scared to try another one of these, like a different 
scent or different you know type of this one of the Mark Anthony but I think I would only pick up the shampoo and not the conditioner because like I said I just wasn't really happy with the conditioner at all but I really did like this shampoo. The next empty I have here is the Bath and Body Works Fresh Sparkling Snow Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. This was the hand soap that we've had on our sink for quite a while now because we were using up that previous big bottle of hand soap from Meyer, and I was just refilling this Bath and Body Works bottle but I do remember we used this last fall like the actual soap that was in here last fall and I really really liked it it was more of a spring scent than it was a winter scent which was really interesting to me but I really enjoyed it during the fall time and I would definitely repurchase this and it's just like hand soap you know so I'm not gonna repurchase it anytime soon we have tons of hand soap but it did clean and my son likes the foaming type a little bit more than the regular kind we have a regular kind in our bathroom right now and he doesn't like it as much as the foaming one so the next empty I have is the Swiss Burrs 100% cotton rounds for cleaner, fresher skin. So I have beef with these. These completely tear apart. Like, I don't like these. I got them from Walmart for like two bucks for this container. And I really think the ones from the Dollar Tree are better. You get the same amount, how many is it, 100, and you get 100 in here, same as the Dollar Tree ones, but these ones tear apart. The Dollar Tree ones don't fall apart on me, but these ones do. And like, even when they're not even being used, but they're just like sitting on top of like my vanity part in the bathroom, like I, went, I go to grab one and they're just falling apart. It's like, why? They've just been sitting here. Like I haven't even been touching them. I don't understand. So I would definitely not repurchase these, especially being more expensive than the ones at the dollar store. No, thank you. But I did find another one of the Swispers brands in the big, huge pack at Costco. And they looked like they were a little bit better than these ones. So I did end up picking that up. So once I'm done with the rest of these, which I think I only have like two left, but I just was done with the packaging. So I wanted to put it in this empties and once I'm done with my other little container from the Dollar Tree I'm gonna start using those and seeing if they're any better I'm hoping that they are because they were like a tiny bit more expensive no they were less expensive than these because you got nine of these for $12.99 so 13 bucks so that's less than two dollars per container so that is a better price than this um, but I bought a whole bunch of them, so I'm really hoping that I like them. And if not, I have a bunch of girlfriends at work and stuff that would love them. So I'm going to try those out, but I would definitely not pick these up. These, like I said, I got from Walmart. Don't purchase these. They're terrible. The next empty I have is, surprise, surprise, a conditioner. <laughs> I pretty much go through one of these a month. And this is the Herbal Essence Bio Renew Naked Volume White Grapefruit and Mimosa Mint Conditioner. And I loved this. I'm still using the shampoo in my shower right now, but I would definitely repurchase this. The smell is so delicious. Oh, it's so fresh and like summery and it does kind of smell like a grapefruit, but I really, really like this one. It's less minty smelling, if anything else. It definitely softens my hair and it gives my hair a shine. I don't have it on today, obviously, because it was um, used up, clearly. But yeah, I would definitely recommend this. And you can always get coupons for these for, you know, drugstores and stuff. You can get the Herbal Essences um, coupons. So basically, I wait until the store has a sale, like the two for five or two for six or whatever the deal is, and then get the coupon for like $2 off purchase of two. And then you get a really, really good deal on these. So that's how I tend to purchase mine. I wait for the good deals and then I purchase them at a time as many as I need to. And I've been trying different scents as well and I've been loving all of them. So I would definitely recommend the Herbal Essences Bio Renew line. It's really, really good. And the very last empty that I have is not technically an empty, but it is expired and expired a long time ago. And I just found it because I needed it. And I decided to put in my empties because I am crazy and I have to show you what I empty even though it's not empty. Anyways, it is the Refresh Tears Lubricant Eye Drops. These are what I always buy. I don't buy Visine because the um, ingredients in Visine actually, they vasoconstrict your blood vessels basically, which make them look very not like the red eye, you know what I mean? And this is not a vasoconstrictor. 
so it doesn't give you that red eye look after. So basically when it's vasoconstricting, it's not letting enough oxygen to your eyes and that's what Visine does. Pretty much all of the brands or all the different styles of Visine will vasoconstrict the blood vessels in your eyes which is not good for your eyes and this one does not do that and this one just is almost like a saline drop and I really really like that about this because it doesn't hurt my eyes at all afterwards because I notice when I put vas Visine in my eyes my eyes will be fine for a while and then after a long time they'll get really really dry and red and stuff like that and that's because the vasoconstrictor of it has worn off. So I really don't like that at all. These ones don't have anything to do with your blood vessels in your eyes, they just simply lubricate your eyes which I really like. These are what I use to drip into my mascaras and also what I use to drip into my brow gels to make it more lubricated and I really really like these because they do a very very good job. This one expired July of 16, 2016. Yeah, I know. This has been in there way too long and I'm sure I haven't used it because I've been seeing that it's been expired, but I just haven't thrown it away for whatever reason. But I do have a brand new one in my medicine cabinet right now that I'm using and I would definitely repurchase it, no doubt about that. I think they're very, very similar in price. This one might be even a little bit less expensive, but the refreshed tears I would definitely recommend if you have any sort of dry eyes or anything like that. I have very chronically dry eyes, so it helps me a lot and yeah I really like it. I'm going to just quickly go through the other samples that I had finished the last time so you guys can see them one more time. This is the Dr. Lily Fan Probiotic Recovery Cream. I go into depth about this but it is all gone and I really miss it already. It was an excellent nighttime cream. This is the Hanalei Sugar Lip Scrub and this was a little sample as well and I have already repurchased this but I have since found something I like better but I am going to use up the one that I have repurchased. Then I have the sample of the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is in the shade Nude. I got a lot of compliments on this one so I'm going to try a couple more shades and make sure that that's the shade I like and I am going to be picking that up at the next 20% off sale. Then I have the Adore Nourishing Hand and Body Lotion. This was just like a little teeny tiny sample from when we went to St. Augustine in Florida, definitely would not repurchase that. I hated the smell. This is the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. I loved these. I would definitely repurchase, but I do have a couple other eye gels that I want to use up. Um, this is the Raw Sugar Body Wash Raw Coconut and Mango. I hated this and it gave me bumps on the backs of my arms which I was so disappointed and mad about and they are finally starting to go away like they're almost completely gone now. Thank God because that drives me crazy. Then this Matrix Biolage Real Authentic Wholesome Recover Shampoo and Conditioner. I don't really have a lot to report on this. I only got one use out of it, but I don't think I would repurchase. And then finally, the Biobel Facial Mask facial mask in the hashtag beauty scoop. I really, really like this one. Definitely would repurchase this and use more of these. I do have more in my stash, so I'm going to use them up before I repurchase. So that was all of the empties I have for the month. If you guys were only here for empties, thank you guys so much for watching, and I really, really appreciate it. And if you guys want to see an update on the sample products that I've been using up, then stick around for just a couple more minutes. I'm going to go grab them real quick, and I will show you the update from now until hopefully my next empties because hopefully the ones that I show you will be gone you know okay one second okay so I am back with my update products so this is the one of the lotions that I couldn't find I still cannot find the other one I know I've used it a couple times but now I can't find it so anyways this is rain kiss leaves body lotion by Bath and Body Works this is actually the body lotion that I took from the hotel going down to Florida I really do like this and that is where we are currently I'm actually getting a lot of progress on this I have been using it exclusively at work and in my pocket because it's so small so it works out really well then I have this Pocket Back Scary Berry Ghoul Friend Antibacterial Hand Soap. Hand 
gel, not soap, um, from Bath and Body Works as well. And we are right there on it. Can you guys see? So I am making a little bit of progress on this. I know normal people would probably have this used up already, but it does have a glitter in it, which I hate. So it's a little annoying on that front. Then I've been using the Pacifica Island Vanilla. I told you guys that this was going bad and it definitely is. So I wanna keep using it and get it used up. But the brown line was where we were last time and the black line is where we are now. So I am getting a little bit of progress, but to be completely honest, I've only been using this just at night for a hand cream. So that's why it's kind of taking a little bit longer. Then you guys will be so happy to see that I have no visible showing product in there. I did use this again this morning to try to get it all used up, but there's a little bit more product left and I can't throw it away if there's a little bit more left. That drives me crazy. So there is about one, maybe two more uses of the Soap and Glory Face Soap and Clarity Vitamin C Facial Wash and I wanna completely use it up. This will definitely, because there's only one or two uses out of it, right? This will definitely be gone by the next use. Um, I've been using this Caress Fine Fragrance Mystique, Mystique Forever body wash. I don't know, but it smells amazing. It smells so good. I've used it about five or six times now. It reminds me of my Nest fragrance. Where is it at? Oh, it reminds me of my Nest Indigo fragrance. If you guys have ever smelled this, it smells... <laughs> It smells so delicious and I love it and this reminds me of this like a very like mold down version of it not as strong but it's so freaking close like oh my god it smells so good I love this normally caress and me are not friends because it doesn't go good with my down there area because it stings and burns but this one does not surprisingly enough so I'm gonna keep working on that one and then I have a shampoo and conditioner that I threw into my shower this is the Pantene daily moisture renewal shampoo and conditioner so these are just two little sample sizes that I want to get used up I haven't used either of them so they are both completely full then because I finished that other um, what was it? Like the face wash, the clean and clear face wash. I started using this Biore Freer Pores Baking Soda Great for Combination Skin Baking Soda Acne Scrub. And I've been really liking this, but it is a physical exfoliant. And I've been noticing that I've been wanting less of a physical exfoliant and more of a cream cleanser. So I don't know if I'm going to keep that one in for right now, but for right now, that's what I'm using. And then I've also been using the Platinum Skin Care Platinum Eyes. Every single night you guys have seen this in a million of my updates. But here we are here. We have pan. Or not really pan, but it's almost gone. Like, I don't even know. This thing is like lasting me forever, which is good. I like when products last me a long time, but it's just like a never ending thing. Anyways, then I have this John Frieda Frizz Ease Daily Nourishing Moisturizing Conditioner. And this is what I've been using with these shampoos that I don't have a conditioner with because you guys see that I use up my conditioners a lot faster than I use up my shampoos. So I'm happy to only have just a conditioner to use up. Then I've been using this Caviar CC Cream 10-in-1 Complete Correction Leave-In Hair Perfector. You guys know I am a fan of leave-in conditioners and I have been trying this one. I have been noticing a couple different things about this that it is really nice but it does weigh my hair down. I did use it today this morning but I can only use this if my hair is still very very wet. If my hair is already on the road to drying I can't use this because it gets very greasy and oily in my hair but it does weigh my hair down a little bit more than I would like it to so I don't really have a full opinion on that. I've only used it about five times and yeah, I'm gonna keep using it and keep seeing how I like it. Then I have this Beauty For Real um, Lip Revival Lip Scrub. I'm loving this one. It is so good. God, it smells like vanilla mint. That's exactly what it smells like. I love this one. This is the one I like more than the Hanalei one. Unfortunately, like I said, I already purchased the full size of the Hanalei one. It's not that I don't like that one, but that one has much bigger sugar crystals than this one. This one has much finer sugar crystals and it doesn't hurt my lips as much. They're both very exfoliating and very good, but I just really like this one because the sugar crystals are a lot smaller. 
Then I've also been using the Air Repair Complexion Boosting boosting moisturizer with hyaluronic acid. This is the one I've been using as my nighttime moisturizer. I've been loving this. I have used it nine times and yeah, I've been just really enjoying it. I figured for this one, instead of marking my progress, I would mark how many uses I got out of it, just like that um, Dr. Lily fan product. So there's that. And then the very last thing I'm gonna update you guys on is the Hanalei Lip Treatment. This one has like only a few uses left, but like I said the last time, the cap is like completely broken on it, so I wanna get it used up. But as you guys can see, like it's really getting flattened out. And I'm really happy about the progress on this, but honestly, it's like Vaseline. That's literally what it is. It's like a really thick Vaseline. And I mean, I like it, but I wouldn't run out and buy it. If I got it in like a kit or something, I would be very happy, but it's literally Vaseline. That's what it is. Anyways, so those were all of my progress updates for my sample project pan. Those were all of my empties and all of my April empties for the month. I know I didn't have a lot of empties this month, but you know what? I'm okay with that. I really am because I have so much progress on a lot of my products and I've really been using things up and I've really been getting an opinion on things and enjoying things and trying not to use them just to use them. You know what I mean? Use them when I need them or use them as I go and try to use them sparingly because I spend my money on these things. Just because I want to film and empties every month doesn't mean I should try to empty as many items as I possibly can just to do it, you know? <sighs> Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and leave me comments down below on products that you guys are using up. And if you guys have any comments on any of the products that I'm currently in progress with, particularly like this Caviar CC Cream, let me know what you think about it because I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep using it. I'm going to keep using it for now, but you know what I mean. Anyways, I hope that you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.